Uh, okay, I think we are. I think we are live. Uh, welcome to Sunday morning's brew session here. Uh, today is September seventeenth, guys. Gosh, we are halfway over in September. Today is September. Uh, look like we have the sound is good. Uh, I'm looking at the. I got my monitor set up right here, so I can see my video quality as well. So, video quality is a uh, pretty decent this morning. Okay. All right. If you're jo uh, joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Uh, uh, if you're first time, let me know. Okay. Uh, let me know in the live chat. Okay. Just let me know so I can acknowledge you. You are here. Look like someone's joining us. Uh, all makes coffee. Okay. Uh, look, uh, uh, look like first timer, and also we are doing the simulcast with with my Discord right now with my Discord friends as well, and uh, we are doing the simulcast. Okay, simulcast. All right. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, 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 R Mexico, have you think about opening a Discord server? Uh, we have Discords already. Okay opening a discord server i don't know what that means i don't know what that means but uh but even though we have discord but i'm not that involved okay uh we have a couple a uh, uh, couple of friends uh, help us out with the discord so if you have any uh discord inquire uh reach out to brian and jordan okay brian and jordan they are the one handling it all right again if you're joining us for the first time welcome to live streaming uh we're going to talk about the Lulet bianca flow profiling okay uh one of you watch my channel i i usually do like you know nine bar shot okay you know nine bar shot just straight i don't play with the profiling much but this morning let's play with it okay i know the pressure pro, uh flow pro, uh profiling is hard to say that uh, if you're looking at the little bianca here let me show you guys has this pedal okay you can actually control the flow all right uh, you can actually control the flow there. So you can uh, control the flow that you can manipulate the shot. So here's what we're going to do today. Uh, today's a shot. I'm going to start with a uh, four force. Okay. And then I'm going to shut it down. Okay. I'm going to cut it, cut the water off. I'm going to wait about five or six seconds. And then I'm going to slowly introduce up to six or uh, six spot or so. I'm going to finish it. So I'm going to be using 18 gram dose and uh, uh, let's stop at like 40, uh, 1 to 2 ratio should be about 36 gram there. I'm going to go a little bit more, okay. I'm going to be a little bit more. So about like 45 gram, maybe 42, 45 gram shot. So again, we are going to use the flow control. Uh, we're going to uh, give you a full force. I'm going to shut it after about a couple seconds. Okay. Oh, you know, let me show you. Okay. Uh, le let me give the live demo on that. Okay. What's the flow uh, control look like on Lila Bianca? All right. So, you know what? Let's get going. Okay. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be using coffee from Say. Okay. Uh, it's called Kubi. Okay. Coffee from Say, the Kubi, uh, Wash, Ethiopia. The tasting notes are spectacular. Okay. Great tasting notes. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, intoxicating floor. Okay, intoxicating floor. Watermelon, peach, and lively citrus acidic. Man, we are talking about wash coffee. That is something, some incredible. All right, some incredible uh, tasting note there. And I'm gonna be matched up with uh, optional P64 grinder. I'm gonna go a little fine. Okay, I'm gonna go really a fine setting. Uh, if you have an optional grinder at home, P64, I'm pretty much about one, about six clicks away from zero points. Okay, about six more clicks away from zero points. So it is pretty fine. All right. The the thing about the flow control, whenever I shut it down, it's gonna saturate the puck really nicely. So and then that's the reason why I'm I'm, I'm kind of like stay around six bar, as uh, 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 getting the espresso out. Okay. Anyway, so uh, let me show you the what flow control look like before we start. Okay, let's start the shot. Just gonna get ready for you guys. Okay. I'm going to take the camera. Okay, here we go. Uh, so as you can see, so here's a pedal right there. Okay, so this one, 
So right now we are fully open, okay? And then we're gonna go all the way to the left. So your flow is closed. So it's all the way open and closed. So I'm gonna take you guys from the bottom. I'm gonna start the water. Right now is that we are at full force. I'm gonna slowly lower the flows. Now it shuts up. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. So that's how the paddle works. Okay, as you can see. So, I, so this is the flow control. Uh, again, having that flow control, you can actually if you you cannot have a bad shots with the flow control. I mean, you could, but I mean, you can actually save the shots. All right. Again, we are going to be using the P sixty four. About six clicks from the zero point there. I'm I'm already measured uh, measured out the uh, 18 grams of coffee from say. A little bit of RDT, okay. RDT means you know it's called rust dropper technique. A little bit of water. Shake it up. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. Again, I'm in Arizona, it's pretty dry here, so uh, especially P64, RDT is must. Okay, if not, you're gonna have really messy, really messy uh, grinder, let's put it that way. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna get my, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be using the Posado high yield baskets. And if I don't use a high yield baskets, I usually add uh, paper as well, uh, just a, uh, uh, puck paper to increase my flow rates. Okay, so this is the paper on the bottom, but since I'm using the high ear baskets, I'm not using the paper at the moment. Okay, here we go. Just get this to some little bit of puck prep here. Just gonna, all right, gentle tap. Uh, with this, I definitely I like to do WDT. If you don't know what WDT means, it's called Wise Distribution Technique. Uh, usually people use uh, acupuncture needle, some kind of needle, tools to make sure everything is nicely distributed, even. All right, then we're gonna do some distribution as well. I'm just gonna use my Posado Gravity Distribution Tool. Looks very clean, and uh, this is uh, their temper. Fifty-eight point five, I believe. A uh, very clean edge, as you can see. Very clean. I think we are ready for a shot, guys. Okay. All right, bring you as close to the machine so you get to see it. Here we go. I already heat up my glass and I like to add a puck screen. Heat up my puck screen there. Okay, here we go. Lock it in. Okay, here we go folks. Okay, so got my scare going. a good view better view for you okay again I'm gonna start the shot about about a couple of seconds I'm going to close the uh, flow control okay here we go start the time about three seconds I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna be wait about five seconds there 
Now I'm going to slowly introduce the flow. Go up to 6 bar. There we go. I'm going to stop at 52 gram. Okay, it's about 30 seconds. All right, let's give it a shot. Look at this. Okay, let's find out. Okay. All right, so because uh, I was trying to go like one to two, but slightly went over. Okay, but I mean, that, that's why, you know, it cannot be, I mean, ideally, a lot easier to be perfect, but the machine has a limitation. Unless if you are using like machine like Decent, uh, Express Machine, with the Decent, you can uh, set the profile, set the weight, everything is all there, and that's pretty much automatic. Okay, but unfortunately, a uh, machine like LeBianca is all manual, okay, manual paddle. So, uh, comes to consistency, and that's something you have to, you know, play with, okay, play with. Here you go, cheers. Okay, very acidic. Uh, is that watermelon, but I cannot, I cannot tell watermelon though. But very pleasant, okay. Lots of flow, man. Again, uh, with the flow control, you have to play with. It's not like, you know, you, you're gonna get it right away. It's just like uh, learning a new technique. So uh, if you have a, a, a paddle at home, I mean, much like Lila Bianca, if you haven't done flow control yet, highly recommend it. Okay, highly uh, recommend it. And man, it is a lot of fun. Okay, we have a, uh, uh, someone asked me, we have a good, good whiskey. I'm, I'm hope I'm saying right. Okay, I'm very, very close to pull the trigger on Lele Bianca. Okay, and have been researching uh, a lot. Okay, do you, do you dial in coffee with the pedal full open and then play with the flow country? Uh, uh, answer is yes. Okay, because sometimes, if a, uh, sometimes fully open, Okay, and you're gonna see, you, if you're gonna see, if the pressure is go up to past 10 bars, nine or 10, your grind size is too fine. And then what I usually do is I lower the flow, okay? I decrease the flow so um, I can control that, so I can save the shot. If not, you are going to choke the machine. Again, so that is great thing about the flow control machine. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of grind size you have, you can manipulate it, especially if you're in Grind size too fine, okay, too fine. You can lower the flows. Just make sure come out the sh you know espresso shot. It's gonna take longer, okay. If you're looking for 20 to 25 to 30 second shots, you're not gonna get it. But but comes to coffee in end results, okay, it's not as bad, okay. I mean I mean just like this coffee right here. I was hoping for a little longer shots. Uh, I stopped at like 30 seconds. Uh, ideally about 40 seconds. I have to go a little final next time. But again, the shots I'm uh, tasting right now, but let's try one more time. Still good, okay, still fine shots, okay. Because earlier, I, I pulled a shot with the same technique, okay, same, uh, finer grind size, okay. This coffee right here earlier is more smooth, okay. So again, uh, you, you are going to have a lot of fun, okay? If you are thinking about getting some kind of flow control machine like Bianca does, uh, let's see, we, we have, uh, you can always add it. So, Calf Attack, uh, not the Calf Attack, uh, Proof Attack as well, uh, ECM, all those machines, you can always add it. At that point, it's all depend on what kind of style of machine you like, okay? And there's no bad machines out there. I mean, you know, you are willing to spend over $2,000 on coffee machine. So having said that, I mean, uh, you have, whatever machine you are going to get, just add the flow control, uh, you're going to have fun. Okay, okay we have uh, KF asking, the, what is the difference between flow control paddle and low flow mode in LCC? Uh, what's the LCC? 
Yeah, let me know what that is. Okay, low, low flow moon is a kind of like, you know, just low, okay? Water is low. That's it, okay? So you're gonna go low flow instead of the high pressure. So there's a definite difference between the, the pressure, uh, flow control versus the pressure, okay? Flow control versus pressure. Because uh, we are talking about the pressure, right? We are talking about the nine bar pressure, 10 bar pressure, 11 bar pressure. But with this machine, the pressure sets a nine bar, okay? Uh, Lele Bianca sets a nine bar there. And then the, I'm talking about pump pressure, okay? You can change the pump pressure. And the, but with the flow control on the paddle to flow of the water, how much water going in? In return, you can control the pressure in that way. So there's a different way to control the pressure. So uh, let's see here. We have in the motion you can program the low pressure. Uh, we have uh, Terry say I have a S bar lava lava two with flow control kit. Yeah, totally different of handling with yeah Bianca. Yep. Okay. And then uh, Terry say I use the fast flow beginning and slow it middle for the yeah middle and the light rose again there's a lot of techniques for different types of coffee too i mean that's why there's no bad way to make coffee you know that that's the great thing about if a coffee hobbyist out there man I mean, you're gonna have some fun okay we have a we have a let's say note note up ah man that's this this uh, uh youtube handler here nota i don't know this person has the Bianca version 3 with the Nice Zero. Play a lot with the profile. Yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, if you have an opportunity to play with some flat birds, right? The Nice, nice Zero is great. Uh, if you are doing the medium to dark roast, if you are into light roast, uh, check out the flat, ro uh, flat bird uh, if you can. All right. Okay, and uh, no, uh, Nota Bad Bannock say, uh, Kai has a nice video on profiles. Let's see here. What else? Uh, we have it. All Max Coffee. I'm 12 years old. We have uh, young uh, coffee fans out there. Uh, 12 years old. I can uh, I can uh, really get good espresso with the minimal channeling, and I actually make great. Hold on a second. And I can make a good latte. Or any suggestion for me? Just keep making it. All right. There, there's no suggestion. There's no bad way to make coffee. Okay, just, just have some fun with it. All right. Yeah, just, just have some fun. Okay, I mean, here we go. Uh, we have a uh, LCC is a Lilac Control Center. It, oh man, I think that's a version three, right? I don't think uh, I have a version two. Okay, I have a V two on Lilac Bianca, so I don't think I have anything like that. Okay, I mean that's something fancy machine there. All right, so Joby say, I'm planning on get the DF64 Gen 2. Should I change to SSPHU immediately or use the BIRS? You know what, uh, if I were you, use, use the current BIRS for now, okay? Do not upgrade to SSP yet. $185, all right? Just enjoy your BIRS first, all right? And then down the road, and if you wanna upgrade it, you are gonna decide. You wanna go with the HU BIRS or you're gonna go with the CAST? You, you want to go with the MP. So you have a lot more options. But before you, you do that, just, you know, just play with the, your current uh, grinder first, okay? Current grinder first. All right. Okay. And the Terry say, I usually use the dark roast. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, YouTube in uh, SSP on uh, DF83 for life. Went from the boring to wild on MP. Great. Okay. Okay. We have. I'm thinking about adding DF83 with a niche duo combined. Man. 83 with. I mean, 83 is. That's a legit grinder. But make sure do not. Okay. Do not. Uh, grind. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay. What's the word I'm looking for? I know some people actually use a hopper on there, and the one of my viewer trying to pre-grind coffee for their friends, okay? And the, you actually overheat the machine. So 
I mean, DF83 is like notorious for overheating. That's why they are single dose grinder, all right? I mean, you can do casually, you know, a couple shots, three, four, five shots are fine. If you're gonna go like 10, 15 shots in a row, uh, make sure, make sure watch out for the DF83. It gets, you know, it gets overheat. So make sure be careful with it, all right? Make sure be careful. Okay, what else? We have a Terry is not, uh, for not fresh, control. okay. We're talking about Terry's control about the uh, uh, profiling there. We have a ink ink scar. Will you use the filter paper on the bottom on the express? Okay, uh, talk about puck paper. All right. The reason why I don't use for this uh, baskets, I have the uh, Posado high ear baskets. High ear basket does is increase the flow rate. All right. But if you don't have a high ear basket, let's say if you are, you are using the IMS baskets, just regular IMS baskets, having the one piece of paper on the bottom makes a huge difference. Increase the flow rate. Okay. And if, again, if you have a high ear basket, if you want to use it, that's fine. Increase your flow rate even more. That's why if you go to like a Weber, uh, the uni baskets, they sell you with the paper as well. I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, so there, you can go really, really fine. Okay. You can go really fine. Okay. Okay. So Terry said, I saw a guy online, guys online using the star, a uh, step start to control the pressure. Be quite good if you, okay. Gotcha. All right. Start, stop. All right. All right that's interesting. But again, I mean, that's kind uh, that's, if you're a regular person, you know, I mean, you don't need to do that. But if you want to play with the coffee machines, right, try something new on weekends. I mean, this is definitely worth doing. All right. Say, uh, say it. Uh, which is better? Okay. DF64, the P64 or DF83? Uh, there are two different coffee grinder. Okay. P64 versus DF83. We are talking 83 millimeter flat, you know, 83 millimeter burr versus 64 millimeter. Uh, price is different as well. What? DF83 is uh, 600 bucks, six or 700 bucks there. And the uh, P64, we are looking at 18 to 2000, depending on the birds. It's not the same machine. Okay. Uh, comes to better, comes to build. Uh, P64 is much better built. I mean, just based on the price as well. I mean, they're just much better built. Let's put it that way. But comes to, in terms of coffee taste, that's subjective, right? We have uh, we are talking about 83 millimeter burrs versus 64. Okay, it's a completely different. All right. So at that point, you know, hey, what you are looking for? All right. I mean, if you want to save money, go with the PC uh, DF83. If you have lots of money. Uh, get uh, get P100. Okay, if you have a lot of money, uh, get the P100. All right, why not? Okay, and uh, what else? Uh, we have a YouTube, and it comes down to how tell. Can you calibrate? Larry, what? Okay, calibrate in DF83 and Larry in. I don't know what that is. Okay, Larry calibrate. Okay, you can calibrate it. Right, you can uh, you can cal uh, calibrate the uh, you know alignment. You could do that, but okay. Fernando say any good recipe with flow control. Uh, you know what? There's no great re okay. There's recipes out there. You can look it up on the online, but come up with your own recipe. Okay, to come up with your own. All right, just play with it. Okay, after uh, three or four seconds, shuts down slowly, ramped up up to like you know six or seven bar if you wanted to so just play with your own recipe uh, you know or just start up with you know uh look it up on the online as well they got tons and tons of recipes out there so you can play with that as well so you have a, a lot of options uh michael say uh yep michael has a bianca with a version three flow control is game changer so much easier to make, con yeah, con con consistent coffee. It is easier. You can save the shots, okay? I mean, uh, it is 
I mean, you can you cannot make a bad shot with the flow control. All right. Okay, uh, here we go. YouTube and say, how tell the tolerance are from the factory? Each machine can vary. You know what? Again, uh, each machine, each grind, special grinder can vary, but uh, with the P64, with consistency, uh, they're great. Okay, they're, uh, the quality is up there. With uh, DF, when it comes to DF grinders, quality is not up to uh, P64, but guess what? You're not paying P64 price. Okay, but we are talking about coffee, right? We are talking about even like scale. I know people are talking about the accuracy of scale a lot. Okay, I want the uh, absolute accuracy of scale, but here's the thing about the accuracy. When it comes to making coffee, we are talking about what? If you're up by 0.1 gram, I really don't care about that, 0.2 gram. As long as I got 18 gram going in, you know, close to 18 gram, and then maybe one to two ratio, 36 gram out, doesn't matter if you got 37 gram out, doesn't make any difference. I mean, you are in that, you know, in that zone, okay? So if I were you, don't, you know, don't really focus on the, you know, alignments or, Unless your alignment is way off, you know, but if you're close enough, you know, you're fine, okay? You're fine with it. Okay, let's see here. We have, I might ask, can, can Bianca win over the, uh, let's see, uh, Pro 700, uh, 700 from Profitech? Uh That's Bianca versus, uh, Lillet versus, you know, Profitech. they're a different machine, okay? But same future, but they're a different machine. Uh, comes to build quality, I'm talking about the build, okay? I talk about machine itself. I think I, I think I go with a uh, perfect tech, all right? That's I think it is much much better build. But comes to functionality, usability, all that stuff, and the Bianca, it, they're all great machine. But I'm I'm kind of like nitpicking it, right? At that point, okay? But the I think I prefer Bianca, all right? I mean, as the as the whole package, okay, as a whole package, because they give you a bottomless pore filter, okay? I mean, Profeta give you single spouted and double spouted, that's it. Bianca give you uh, bottomless and spouted. And also they give you the, all the wooden trims as well. So there's no upgrade needed. Uh, flow control comes with it, so. I mean, again, I mean, just uh, as a package, I think that Bianca is a uh, better. But comes to uh, the fine detail and beer quality, you know, obviously Profetech is a little nicer. But we are talking about just tiny bit. Okay, it's not it's not a deal breaker. So, I mean, again, so if you are looking for just the one package, the Bianca did pretty good job. Okay especially version three with, they got the matte black with white. Standard steel is, it looks great when it's clean, but they're pain to clean it, okay? But uh, if you can, if you're thinking about getting a little lead, uh, go with the matte black or matte white. That's easier to clean and yeah. Uh, what else? So uh, uh, if you can uh, get the rotary pump, guys, rotary pump is so much easier, quieter, a lot easier, to, uh, not that easier, but a lot quieter. All right, and then uh, uh, you can run forever. Um, if you can do, if you want to do three minute shot, you can do that with a vibrator pump. I think it usually shut cuts off at like minute or minute and a half. So um, if you can uh, get the Rory pump, but if you can afford it, I mean, I mean, uh, vibrator pump is fine as well. But go with uh, go with a Rory pump if you can. All right. Okay, hold on a second here. We are, we are, uh, let's A and B. Okay, ask. If you can get a Bianca at discount, it's a no brainer. Yeah, buy my version two for $2,300 brand new. Yeah, Clive, good. Yeah, 2300 bucks is a good price because brand new ones are right now. It's like 30, what, 32, 35, right? It's pretty pricey there. So, yeah. Okay. We have a, 
Anskar say I will go with the flare 58 I mean flare 58 I mean if you like pressure profiling the manual machine the flare 58 is a nice machine a nice coffee uh, coffee machine guys it's about 600 bucks right yeah but if you like the milk base if you want the milk right I mean so and once in a while I like to add some milk you know I mean that's nice yeah I, I like to have that let's see here version 3 Bianca in EU with uh, value added $2,100 for that is that $2,100 is that right is that the right price man yeah that's great price uh, version 3 is Hong Kong is 15,000 Hong Kong dollars okay all right I think we are oh, what else yeah again uh, if you have a flow control machine on your coffee machine make sure play with it okay have some fun all right okay okay we have uh, the best price I found was a twenty six hundred dollars in US dollar we are talking 20 we are talking two thousand dollar coffee machine guys all right two grand you need, you need to add another thousand bucks for the grinder okay so you're looking at three thousand dollars setup uh, let's not forget the tools right don't forget the tools if you are spending uh, you know you are spending three grand on your coffee bar you're gonna go with you know nice distribution tools nice temper that's another 500 bucks okay nice bottomless pore filter the easy 500 so you are you are talking about four thousand dollars setup everything said and done okay four grand just just make sure do your research before all right make sure do your research before buying your your next coffee bar do not jump in okay do not jump in that you're looking at the, the shiny object okay because there's a lot of information out there all right they're trying to sell you whatever you look uh, looking at the uh, uh well, youtube or instagram new coffee grinders coming out new coffee machines yeah just make sure do your research okay uh, if you guys are into gadgets make sure subscribe this channel okay that's the reason why i do all live streaming so you get to see it you get to see what that uh, coffee grinder in live action all right hold on a second here we have a uh, youtube and say hun haven't seen the percetto uh online automatic tamper yeah I, I seen it one of those automatic tamper i'm not a big fan of uh, automatic tamper all right auto tempers because i mean what, what's the fun is that all right yeah i what, what's the fun is that i mean th that's why i like the manual okay i like the manual or something you know get hands-on just do it yourself I mean that I think that's the fun of making coffee there okay and the Joby say only I could afford a Mora X Joby start saving money buddy okay, start saving some money it's tough out there guys with the inflations and man gosh this morning my I don't know about you guys but gas price in Arizona right now is over four dollars per gallon Okay, it's nuts. Four dollars, goodness. Uh, John asked, "How is the Gnome Core version one?" Uh, Gnome, I mean, Gnome, if you're looking for budget coffee tours, Gnome Core is uh, top of my list. Okay, uh, speaking, of, I'm gonna put the link, my coffee tours on my link, on my Amazon. So I have an Amazon kind of like store type. So yeah, I'm gonna put the link down below. Okay, when I'm done with it. All right. So yeah, I mean, if you're looking for budget tools, yeah, Gnome Core is great, okay. And the Gnome Core, and also, uh, who's good? Uh, you got the 3H Bombers as well, 3H Bombers. And then, yeah, they are all, they are all good tools. But if you are, if you are thinking about buying three, four thousand dollar coffee machines, you know, why settle with uh, Amazon tools, right? Go to something fancy. Okay, so th this is the Posado, 58.5 millimeter uh, gravity tours as well. So this is fun. Okay, if you know something classic, San Anthony Industry, that's also great too. Again, if you are spending four grand or five thousand dollars on coffee machine, 
I mean, you're not going to be happy with the known pork. All right. You're not going to be happy with it. So, yeah. M make sure you get it right. All right. Make sure you get it, you know, get the, you know, get the, you know, top of the line if you are spending that kind of money. All right. Hold on. <clears throat> Wicked Farms. Okay. Sono Frisco Roaster. Yeah, that's my friend's uh, coffee roaster there. Yeah, I mean, that's great coffee roaster, by the way. All right. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, we gotta have newness. Say, I don't know if you answered, but you're getting optional. Oh no, I'm not getting the new optional grinder. Not, not yet, not yet. I like to. All right, it's about twenty-seven hundred bucks. That's the O. What is the O twenty? Right? O. Yeah, that's the one. A hundred and two millimeter flat burst. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome though. Yeah, but not yet. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I think we are. Okay, so Terry said Rory is the best. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Rory is best, you know, for the flow control. Uh, 3H bomber sifter. Okay, I must say 3H bomber coffee sifter is really underrated. Have you looked into... No, not... You know what? I mean, these companies, they make everything now, guys. I cannot keep up with it. Okay, I cannot keep up with the tools right now or uh, coffee grinders. They are out of control. Okay, there are so many of them. So, yeah. Uh, St. Anthony is the, uh, they make coffee tools. I think you guys seen it on my channel a lot. So they make the, you know, coffee tools like this. They make the coffee, kind of like knock box here. Like that as well. Uh, comes to knock box. Man, I'm telling you, St. Anthony makes the best. Okay. It's not a knock box. It's like you know, a puck prep station. I mean, if you if you have money to get one, get it. I think that's the, one of my favorite uh, tools. Okay, yeah. Don't use it as knock box. All right, but yeah, they are really nice. Looks really nice there. Yep. Let's see here. I think we are good for this afternoon. Yeah, it's already twelve four right now. So this afternoon. Yeah, so again, if you have the flow control machine, I highly encourage you to play with it. All right, have some fun with it. Hold on a second. Anyway, uh, let's see. Go uh, A and B. Say I got the uh, San Anthony Industry Wedge and Force. Yeah, that's good setup. Okay, you have an A and B. So you you figure San Anthony Industry tours? It's about one fifty, right? It's about buck twenty after tax on it. Let's say one fifty, and the first temper is about two hundred. So he already spent 350, what, 350 bucks, okay, on tours alone, okay, $350. And then you're going to add a few other things, let's say a bottomless port filter, that's under 100 bucks right there, some baskets, pushing wet over 500, easy, all right, so, okay, let's see here. I got the MK Draper and nice to see your dra yep, Draper method in yeah, how to use. Man, you know what, the speaking of MK Draper, they, they are working on uh, another one right now. So again, if you are into coffee tours, right? Coffee tours, coffee brewers. They're coming up with so many different brewers. Okay, I'm not kidding you. It's out of control. All right. That's out of control now. So make sure. If I were you, stick with the one brewer for now, okay? Stick with the one brewer. Have some fun with it. And uh, once you get bored with it, okay, move on to the next one, okay? But again, just just start with the one. If not, you're gonna keep buying. You're gonna keep buying stuff. All right, I think we are good. But we've been talking for 40 minutes now. So, okay, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, this this is what we do every single day. We just hang out, make some coffee, uh, we chit chat a little bit. Make sure to subscribe, okay, if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, we got, I, got, I got some a lot of fun plan coming up for you, coming week, all right? So coming week, I'm going to be unboxing, here, here we go. Autocom, okay, Autocom is coming, I'm gonna be unboxing it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the workflow on that, Autocom from Brista Hustle. I cannot wait for this. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of fun to play with. 
Okay, so this one happened to be 2022 World Barista Champion used this uh, tools and also 2023 the Korea okay my home country Korea the Brisa champion used that one as well so yeah I uh, cannot wait to showcase that okay folks I hope you guys having a wonderful day I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow